Hi, this is Nancy Ralsema with On Point Dash TV and Quilting with Nancy. Thank you so much for joining me. I am not in my normal studio. I am in this huge studio called Mainframe Studios in West Des Moines, Iowa. Um, I do have a niece that lives up in Ames, Iowa, but this is the first time that I've been into Des Moines other than to fly out. And I'm here for a very special reason and a very special person, and her name is Sue Penn. Um, I always kind of feel like I'm a little bit name dropping when I tell people Sue Penn, that fabric designer at Free Spirit, she's a good friend of mine. And it's almost like, you know, yeah, that's really real. And she was a good friend of mine a long time before she was a designer at Free Spirit. And I find that to be really cool. So I am going to take you around her studio. And by doing this, my hope is kind of twofold. One, you'll get to know who Sue is. And two, you'll start to appreciate the designs for her Free Spirit line. And you'll kind of see inside the design because you'll start to know who Sue is. And I guarantee you, when you get to know Sue, you're going to love her as much as I do. So I am now going to take the camera from Sue so that I can go around and so show you some stuff. But as I take the camera from Sue, I'm going to go to the turn this way, and you're going to meet Sue. And you can say, hi, Sue. Hi, Sue Horn and Deb. You guys are the first two on all the way from Washington State. Yeah, what about those colors? So this is Sue Penn. She is my friend who happens to be a designer for Free Spirit Fabrics. You'll learn a lot more about her because in the next couple of weeks, I want you to subscribe to her YouTube channel and you're going to love it. So Sue's going to go back to work. Go on, Sue. Go back to work. All right. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this super cool place. So we're in West Des Moines, Iowa. And this is called Mainframe Studios. It is a four-story tall working studio building where artists come and do their work. And Sue is fortunate enough to be able to live here and be able to um, have a studio here. So like this is a particular designer. Okay, I want to say their name. Her name is, there it is. I don't want to show her work without giving the artist the credit. So you can kind of see her name there. Marion's Pottery. I can't say her last name. I'm sorry. So she happens to have this beautiful pottery. You go down the road here. All right, because we're all quilters and we're all fabric obsessed, I'm going to go all the way down to this next one. And this is called Biddy Buttons. I love the name. You got to love that. Hi, Daphne. Um, this is Biddy Buttons and Debbie. This is, she makes clothing. So she has her own fabric line and she makes children's clothing. I mean, how so cute is this? So this is where Sue gets to work every day. So she comes in, she and her husband live in Des Moines. She drives over to West Des Moines every day and gets to work in this kind of atmosphere. And it's kind of quiet in the day, but I guess that they have open studios and things like that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some of Sue's stuff. So in particular, you might not know, but she has an Etsy site. And on her Etsy site, she has all of her fabrics and a lot of other things, including her gift cards. So here's just kind of her gift cards. Keep in mind, I'll say that all the way from Australia, I just noticed that. Hi, Australia. Um, if you buy things on her Etsy site and use the code Nancy10, you get 10% off anything that you buy. You got to love this. When you're looking at a Sue Pen design, whether or not it's on fabric or one of her paintings, this is classic Sue Pen right here. Bold colors, really um, tons of fabulous layerings going on. So this is in a um, canvas painting. And this thing has got to be... Okay, it says 36 by 60. She does sell these too, which they are not on her um, YouTube or her Etsy site, but she'd be more than happy if you actually contacted her and she could tell you more about buying her actual original artworks. So I'm going to turn around and show you the two that were behind me. Because these are, this is probably, every time I walk by it, I'm just enamored with it. She has another one that she painted specifically for her house that's more in teals. And it's so gorgeous. And she, this was the, I think this was the light in the fort. No, this was called Garden Bright. And this was the painting that was from her, this is the painting that her Garden Bright design, fabric design was from. Now look at this one. This is a painting that her newest fabric line called Up, Up 
in a way was based on. So this was a painting that she did and then she based the fabric line on it. And again, if you don't know, the fabric lines are um, at Free Spirit Fabric, so you know it's the high quality. And so these are what her basics look like. This is a painting that she did, but then there is a fabric, one of the fabrics is called blue plaid, and this is what it looks like. And it's gorgeous, and okay, I'm gonna kinda touch it, don't tell anybody, okay? But I love acrylic because I love the texture that it gives. Um, and Sue, Sue tells me too that some of these have been painted over another canvas that wasn't up to her liking. I always think they're fabulous, but she's pickier than I am. <laughs> so then you get these other textures in it. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of go down this row a little bit. Here's, so in the studio, they're able to hang their artwork and they're for sale. So look at, these are classic Sue Penn. When you look at these, you're going to start to recognize Sue's artwork. And when you walk into a quilt shop that is carrying her fabric, you're going to recognize her fabric. You're not going to have to look at the selvage and say, oh, I wonder who that designer is. You're going to go, that's a Sue Pen design. And then you're going to want to have it just like I do. If you watch any of my videos, if you watch the, like the um, Great Lakes Voyage, that's my kind of learning to quilt, learning to quilt two video series, that one with the big flowers, those are all a Sue Penn design. All right. So now we're going to go into her studio space. All right. And it's kind of like always like an open studio space. So when she's here working, people can come in. So I want you to recognize that it's not just her fabulous paintings, which cover the walls and make you very happy. Ooh, this is one of the peacock designs. This is from Pizzazz, so her fabric line called Pizzazz. And I did a video series where I was um, quilting the Pizzazz quilt. I might be able to figure out how to show that to you. And then this one, oh my gosh. Does that make you happy? Because it makes me happy. And when you look at two of them together, it makes me twice as happy as I was just moments ago. They're just so pretty. This is the picture that kind of is from her Flourish design, which came out, I don't know, I want to say maybe six weeks, six months ago. All right. So in her studio, she's got things like that. Then she has smaller things, you know, some littler things, some quirky little things like her little snowmen adventures or little gnomes. There's the little snowmen. Now look at that snowman, all right? That is mixed media. She uses paper and paint on canvas with lots of other things. She also is a lover of things like beads and papers and ephemera and, and just, yeah, she's just like us. She likes all the same kind of cuts to collect everything um, available. So in her studio here in West Des Moines, she also has fabric. So if you just happen to be in West Des Moines, you never know when you're going to be here. Um, she, You can come into her studio and you can purchase the fabric designs direct from the designer. And this actually, she does another line of fabric with Free Spirit that's under a different name and I can't quite remember what it is, but this is actually a winter flannel line. Sue has been designing fabrics for more than 25 years. Now she's been with Free Spirit for actually just before COVID hit. Um, but before that, she's been with many other companies many times not designing fabrics under her own name. So you might, she was a creative director for a couple of um, fabric manufacturers too. So she's been in the business a long time. She's by no means, <laughs> I told her this today, she's no overnight success. She's all the time would tell me something about, oh yeah, I was on Sue Houseman's show back when Sue Houseman went and had a show, or I was on so-and-so show back when so-and-so had a show. She's been doing this a long time. And now that she gets to actually have her own acrylic paintings be turned into fabric, I kind of feel like this is where God intended her to be from the very beginning. All right, so now we're going to go into her studio spot where she actually works. Oh, these are fun. So today we did two videos. So you're going to be able to start seeing Sue work on YouTube. And in the first one, she used these palettes. She uses these wood palettes and puts the paint on them and then, you know, takes the paint off to do the painting. And then lets the paint dry. So I was talking about the texture of acrylic. I mean, look at that. Let's the paint dry and then signs them. There you go. And then you can buy them. I think they might be available on her um, 
Etsy site, and there's the welcome to the pen party house. Yeah, now we have arrived. So there's just some of her paintings there. There's some different stash that she uses. This is the quilt that we did the second video on. She did the video on how to paint that center panel using the medallions. Um, so, so cool. Actually, if you look at this border, that border, some of those are painted. So this fabric was a fabric she painted. This fabric is one from her fabric line from Free Spirit. This is one that she painted. I think that's a fabric line and that's a painted. And then all of the center, what you, actually you can kind of see it. Do you see here? So not as the quilting, but instead as a stitched embellishment. embellishment. Hello, Louis, Louisville, Kentucky. She does over the top. Now this, yeah, she just did a zigzag here. I love this really heavy thread that she used on those. Over here, she blanket stitched around the painted elements. So you can see how you can use those stitches on your machine that sometimes you go, why did I buy this machine with all these stitches? Now you know, because you can embellish your own fabric. All right, going to turn this way. So this is where we were doing our videos today. She did two videos. One of them has already been posted on her YouTube channel. So you want to Follow the link below. I think it's already there. Um, otherwise, go to YouTube and search up Sue Penn Designs. And Penn is B-E-N-N. -N. And because we all want to support and love other artists, and for you ladies, you want to also support the other female artists, you want to subscribe to her channel. Show her the love. Let, prove to her that the people watching YouTube are not just looking for a free class. They want to be part of a community. And by subscribing to somebody's channels, like most of you have to mine, thank you very much, um, it kind of shows that, you know, you appreciate the work that they've done. Um, YouTube doesn't pay you for nothing. You have to have enough subscribers. You have to have enough views, those kinds of things. So by you subscribing and liking and sharing and hitting the notifications button, that's when one way for you to help an artist continue being an artist. So this is how Sue stores her acrylic paints. She puts the color tab on the, the cap and then lays them in this little shelf here so she can easily see. I asked her, I'm like, what is your favorite paint? I don't know that she really has one. There's just so many to choose from. And she's got these... All right, my daughter-in-law, Meg, I hope you're watching. She would love that she has actually labeled the drawers. So in here is a bunch of different inks. So Sue has been a artist for a long time. Her, her grandmother bought her um, art lessons, I think, something like that, um, as a kid. And she's been, like I said, designing in some way involved in fabric designing for the last 25 years. Oh, Kimberly is working on her fourth quilt using Sue Penn fabric. Sue, what do you think of that? She loves you, Kimberly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, buying the fabric also helps her keep doing what she's doing too. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. All right, here's one. So sometimes she's working on these easels. This is a, it's a really heavy easel. I was kind of surprised when I went to move it today. Um, that's one, that's a, could be a future fabric design easily. She's got this really cool old fashioned working station. Tomorrow we will work on doing the flourish painting. So the first video she did, she was painting on canvas. The second video she did, she was painting on fabric. So something that you could make your own. So here's kind of the little setup that we had. And I've been told that, no, I'm not supposed to go into her office because she thinks that would be a bad idea. <laughs> you know what? It looks like every other artist's office I know of, um, we're artists. We're not like June Cleaver. These are her spray paints that she uses. I just started using these in my latest fabric painting video. I use these. They're the Liquitex spray paint. Um, she doesn't have caps on them because they get clogged. So instead she uses this cool little cap cleaner thing that I just learned about and then, or uses some other caps on it. And I'm like, I'm always learning something new. You know, Sue and I don't get to see each other that much, but when we do talk, 
we like really learn quite a bit. So there you go. There is Sue Studio. If you, like I said, if you're ever in the West Des Moines area, you need to be sure to contact her and then you could come and visit the studio, although it is an open studio, so you could come pretty much any time. It's open to the public all the time. So I'm going to end just on these beautiful paintings here. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want you right now to go to Sue's YouTube channel. Help just, you know, show her the love, um, and you'll learn something too. It's amazing what you learn by listening to other artists. Even though you might be a quilter, there is something to be learned by what every artist has to teach you. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video with your other quilting friends or your other artist friends. That would be pretty cool too. And like the video and do all that normal kind of stuff that I normally ask you to do, all right? If you have any questions, you know you can contact me through quiltingwithnancy at gmail.com. Be sure that you head to Sue's Etsy site. Link is below. Use the code NANCY10 and you will get 10% off anything that you buy at that site, you guys. You just don't get any better than that. So thank you very much for watching and have a great evening.